Well, uh, good afternoon, everybody. Um, welcome to the Central Unit presentation. Uh, I'd like to thank the Ottawa Unit uh, for hosting this uh, fine, fine event. I added something on to mine just before I started because during the workshop yesterday, it was mentioned, um, I, meant, I made a mention that the, for the future of, of Cus W, that the, the median age of everybody in the room, it was fairly, well, they're old. But I, I stand up here today and I see a sea of young faces and that, uh, that gives me hope and faith in the future of this uh, fine establishment we have. So with that in mind, I'm going to introduce you to the uh, central unit officers. Uh, the chair is moi. The vice chair is Paul Burry. The recorder is Alex Atherton. I keep, yeah, there is a screen right there, perfect. Treasurer is Carolyn Kubek. And we have a unit an executive of Scott Fraser, uh, Simon uh, Malat, and uh, Ming Yang Zhang. Most of them, there's two of us were returning officers, and the crowd I have now is very young and very enthusiastic. I have two apprentices on there, and they have renewed my, my power in, um, in supporting the central unit as much as we can. It's, uh, it's been very dynamic. Uh, learning uh, experience again. Um, I'm very happy they joined. What central unit looks like. When most of the other units think of central unit, this is what they think of. Toronto. In reality, we encompass a large variety of small cities, large and small towns, as well as rural areas. Uh, our members range from urban dwellers to farmers. You could say that we are a diverse group of people indeed. If I could roll back the hands of time, I would. This picture, I believe, was from 1972. That's the height of traffic on the 401. Yes. Unfortunately, I do not possess that superpower. This is what we dream about. The biggest obstacle uh, for in-person general meetings is the traffic. Uh, we can sometimes take two hours to go as far as 20 kilometers. It is not getting any better. So you can understand why people do not want to go out of the way to go to general meetings. So how are we trying to deal with this? Well, we have been moving the meeting locations of the general meetings. Uh, we have uh, three areas. They're all close to main arterial highways. Uh, and we've been doing the uh, online meeting for the executives for the last three years. So is this plan working? The attendance at the general meetings has been increasing uh, since we've instituted this again. And the stress of being an executive to attend a meeting when you don't have to go anywhere, you can just do it online, is very, very, it's a, it's a big relief. Uh, especially if with the distance and we can pick the time that's convenient for everybody. Uh, we do have young, young people with families. So if we can do it after the kids go to bed, uh, everybody's happy. So in the recent past, we have concentrated on pretty well member meet, uh, members only. We have been at uh, past conventions and I've seen some of the presentations that the other units have done, and I noticed, uh, that especially in Niagara, that they included their families of, of the members in everything they were doing. So we decided to change our direction. Uh, and I've got to say that uh, the results we've been getting have been very positive. <laughs> Meetings do not have to look like this. They don't. So our first event that we uh, pulled off was uh, last December. We held our first ever family event. It was, we had uh, quite the attendance. Uh, everybody was happy. I give big uh, thanks to Jason Landry for uh, attending, uh, entertaining the kids. Uh, most of them were happy except one. <laughs> uh, a big note of appreciation goes out to Carrie Lynn Kubek, who organized this event. She is a tireless member. Um, I don't know if anybody's met her here. Some of, some, some of you might. Uh, she has her uh, fingers into everything. She was also the coordinator behind our axe throwing events. The membership has really uh, taken to these events and has provided the new members a chance to come out and get to know the other members and be known. We took it in as um, when the executive asked us to uh, do member orientations, we included it in that. And so instead of sitting like the previous prior meetings I showed you, where everybody's just falling asleep or on their phone, they, they come out and we've had, I think at the last event we had 50 people. So uh, to continue in our new direction, here's some things we have uh, coming up. 
We have a family day coming up in May. It'll be at a North York Rec Center, and there's a splash pool, uh, Bounty Castle. I asked, the Bounty Castle is not all ages, so it's just kids only. We also have a golf tournament coming up on July 14th, and that's going to be held together with the Greater Durham Region. Uh, we're also planning another one sometime in August. Uh, the date has yet to be uh, uh, put down firm. And we are also going to continue another end-of-the-year family get-together. Uh, the last one was quite successful, and we want to keep that going. Part of our agenda is to get the custody name uh, out in the, in the community. Part of our strategy is through sponsorship of local sports organizations. Uh, who are, here are two teams that we do sponsor. One is the Barry Minor Adams. Our uh, logo is at every game, and the Cus W name is mentioned uh, by the PA for the, uh, during the opening ceremonies. The uh, second team we do sponsor is the Oshawa Viking uh, Rugby Football Club. Uh, that jersey now hangs at the office uh, as a token appreciation from the girls. I believe they've been doing quite well. Uh, I'm not sure when the season starts up. The next generation is our future. The success of Cus W in the future is to introduce the younger generation to the trades. If the next generation learns about Cus W through our financial assistance to the program they are in, then we can instill our values as a union on them. Uh, leading by example will show those who become future Cus W members the values of being a, in a participating unit. This is from the women in trades. Uh, we've been uh, we supplied them with tool belts and uh, some orientation and uh, a package that to uh, introduce them to Cus W. The potential return on a small investment could uh, result in a much larger return down the road. So in closing, uh, once again, I want to thank the Ottawa unit personally and, and the behalf of our unit for hosting this. Uh, someday it may come to Toronto. Uh, cost prohibitive, probably not. But we'll visit that down the road. Thank you kindly.